finding an amicable solution to the conflict between Morocco and Western Sahara is back on the front banner of the African Union. 31 countries, including Ghana, gathered in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh to, put, to push to implement Resolution 693, which was passed by the AU in 2018 in Rockshot, Mauritania. Ghana's Foreign Minister, Madame Shelly Ayokoboche, assured Morocco and Western Sahara that Ghana is still committed to helping to peacefully resolve the conflict to accelerate development in the area. Western Sahara was colonized in 1884 by Spain and later became a province of Spain in 1934. But in 1975, Spain pulled out handing over administration of the territory to Morocco and Mauritania. This later degenerated into conflict and the Polisario Front, with support of Algeria and Libya, led an insurgency against Morocco and Mauritania for 16 years. In 1979, Mauritania withdrew its forces from the disputed territory and the Polisario Front and Morocco reached a ceasefire agreement in 1991. The Polisario Front declared the establishment of the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, which was not admitted into the UN but won limited recognition by a number of other states. The Polisario Front controls about 20 to 25 percent of the Western Sahara Territory as the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic and claims sovereignty over the entire territory of Western Sahara, while Morocco controls and administers the rest of the disputed territory and calls these lands its southern provinces. This protracted conflict led to the pulling out of Morocco from the OAU in 1984 in protest at the body's recognition of Western Sahara. There have been several attempts by the UN to address the problem, but now there seems to be an end in sight after the return of Morocco to the AU family 33 years on. For the first time in several years, the UN Special Envoy for Western Sahara, former President of Germany, Mr. Horst Kohler, managed to bring the protagonists together in Geneva, Switzerland, to chart a new path, and thus culminated in AU Resolution 693 in Nouakchott, Mauritania, in 2018. The latest meeting in Marrakech, Morocco, is a follow-up on the AU position. Ghana was represented by the Foreign Minister, Madame Shelley Ayokoboche. She described the move by Morocco and the Polisario Front to end the long dispute as refreshing and pledged Ghana's support for a peaceful resolution. This conference reaffirms the African consensus on the matter that demonstrates Africa's support to the ongoing political processes within the United Nations framework. We believe that the process will ultimately lead to a realistic practical move and enjoy political solution to the issue based on compromise. Out of the 54 countries in Africa, 31 were present, including Nigeria in Marrakech, and the resolved to push for peace in the Sahara region to deepen the Africa integration agenda to bolster intra-regional trade via the Continental Free Trade CFTA platform. However, South Africa, Algeria, and Egypt, which is the current chair of the African Union, were missing at the Marrakech conference. <laughs>